Hey, what's happening guys? What I got for you today is a little plastic circuit you should know. It is a quick and dirty split rail power supply. You will get positive voltage here, your negative voltage here, and your ground here in the middle. And you can see basically we're doing all this with a couple of Zener diodes. Let's go over to the computer and simulate this circuit so you can see how it works. All right, let's get this party started with some DC voltage. I'm using Multisim from National Sim. It is a free circuit simulator, and I'll put a link to it down below. All right, we're going 20 volts on the input. And then we need a capacitor. In this case, it is uh, 10 microfarads. And we need our zeners. And they are going to be 18 volts a piece. There we go. 18 and 18. So now, we'll just go through here and we'll connect our circuit together. This is just a quick and dirty circuit for like powering an op amp for something, you know. It's not a, the best way to do this. But it is a uh, a viable way to do this and it works very well. You'll be surprised at how simple this all works out to be. So there we go. Now let's put in some ways to read voltage. So we'll read our positive voltage here We'll read our negative voltage here. Ah, you know the phone always got a ring. And then we will put one here, showing our voltage at the zero point. Now just for fun, let's put a voltage here, here. Oh, what the heck, let's put it at all the nodes so we can read all of our voltages. And let's run the simulation. Okay. So remember, we're bringing in 20 volts from the battery, but our little Zener splitter here is making our positive rail 10 volts, and it is making our negative rail negative 10 volts, and our center tap here is zero volts. So, I mean, it's just a super quick and simple way to set this up. Now, if you're worried about some inrush current, what we can do here is knock that line out. And we can bring in a resistor. Maybe like a... Let's try it with one ohm. One ohm is probably not where I want to go, but yeah, actually, it's not bad at all. We could ramp that up, say, like a four seventy. See what that looks like. Might unbalance it a little bit. No, nope, not too bad at all. So there's a little bit of current limiting, and everything looks pretty much hunky dory. Let's go over to the desk and we'll, uh, we'll look at the real deal. All right. So here's our circuit setup. We have our positive coming in 
negative here. There's our 10 microfarad capacitor. What's that one? 50 volts. There's a 470 ohm resistor on the top rail between the DC positive input and the uh, top zener. There are two zeners. These are 18 volt zeners. This, this is just a jumper to connect our capacitor to ground. There's our rail coming out between. So this will be our our ground rail, our negative imp our negative uh, power output, and our positive power output. Now, this is going to be a little bit higher than what I showed you in the sim for the simple reason that I uh, broke my power supply and now it's stuck at 32 volts. So, all right, energize the circuit, connecting ground because we always connect ground first. Then we can bring in the meter. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit so you can see better. Put that there. So, here's our positive. Four, come on. 14.24. Here's our negative. Negative 14.29. Close enough. Oh, and our ground fell out because the meter's on it. Oh. You know, this is what happens when you make videos without a production team. Well, it's just one guy in, in the dining room. Get back on there. Get on, get on there. Come on. All right, you want to play that? We'll just clip you on here. That's all. Oh, we don't play that. So again, positive rail. Negative rail. Ground rail. Trying to actually get on the ground rail there, Paul. There we go. Ground rail. Zero volts DC. So that, my friends, is a quick and dirty split rail power supply. Basically using nothing but two Zener diodes. It is a classic circuit. And you should know it. And now you do. So if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And if you're not a patron, check that link down there. It's a buck a month is all I ask. We do a monthly Zoom meeting where we all get together and talk, and not just about electronics. Sometimes we just talk. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.